Contributions of famed Tuskegee Airmen are legendary. They are part of the 332nd Fighter Air Group. They protected American freedoms in World War II. Pilots flew over Europe and North Africa on 15,000 sorties during the war. And they had help. For every Tuskegee Airman in the air, there were 10 people to support them on the ground. L.A. City College alumnus Ted Lumpkin was one of them. He recalls running for cover when the Luftwaffe attacked the base where he was deployed in Naples, Italy. Well, generally, generally speaking, it's, uh, it would still, still be uh, dark because uh, the Germans basically uh, wanted to make their raids at, at night rather than uh, in the daytime because it's, it's safer for them. The Germans had uh, the JU-88s, I think they were, uh, playing. And uh, they were um, they would come over at uh, at, at night, and uh, you would hear the air raid siren. You felt very safe, I guess, in in, in the in the foxhole compared to just being uh, up on on the ground in terms of it. And that is, if a bomb did actually uh, unless unless it actually struck you, you were probably going to be safe. The buzz of Junkers, the JU-88 for short, let soldiers on the base know the German Air Force was overhead. The plane's top speed was 317 miles per hour. It was fast for its day. It was 51 feet long with a 66-foot wingspan. Uh, not be seen uh, by, uh, or it could not be attacked by our fighters and things like that, so it was easier for them to, uh, to uh, do their combat and their damage as much as they could at night because they weren't only just bombing us, they were bombing uh, the uh, buildings, etc., cetera, in, uh, in Naples and to try to uh, uh, knock out the uh, uh, civilian uh, uh, will to fight as much as possible. Lumpkin and other staff at the base hunkered down in their foxholes. He says they were about three feet wide and four feet deep. I dug them out ahead of time in terms of it. You, know, you, you, you would not be able to dig a, a foxhole with just, just dig one. You had to have one. And you have to then uh, know that that's yours and you can go to it. Sirens go off, they indicate that the, that the bombers have left the place. So you could uh, uh, see the searchlights uh, 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 <laughs> trying to find the planes and this kind of thing, and uh, also warning you that, uh, that this was happening. And uh, it, and once it was over, uh, you felt, felt uh, relieved. Lumpkin experienced many air raids. However, he says after this particular raid, he knew he would survive the war.